Here we are in the Roadshow Kitchen. TV maitre d' Joe Zito is here along with Chef John Granada. Johnny Granada's restaurant and bar is the place. Roasted cauliflower caprese is what we are making. Good to see you guys. Good hey, to see you. Well, it sounds like summer, doesn't it? It does sound like summer. Mm, and sure. I think we may have said this before. Last year, a lot of people were making things with Brussels sprouts. Brussels yeah, sprouts right. were the thing. Mm. Well, I was just telling you. Cauliflower is it. Right, cauliflower and watermelon are the two things that are like just exploding right now with different salads and things like that. Right. Watermelon's a little overdone. Cauliflower is just kind of taking off right now. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, all we're going to do this is this is so simple. So your basic caprese is tomato and mozzarella, right? A little balsamic vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper, and some fresh basil. That's what makes it. So what we're going to do is we're going to roast off some cauliflower, mm -hmm. get it tender and brown. And then we're going to put that on the bottom so it's almost like a meaty kind of thing going on. So if you start off with a full cauliflower and you don't want to fight with it and fret with it, you can right. go to any market oh, and they the sell them in the florets all, the, all in, kind of like the chopped plastic, up or, yeah. the plastic oh, yeah. bag yeah. and make it even easier. Or, yeah. yeah, because yeah. it is a little difficult sometimes to get the knife in there and kind of florette them out. It's not not as easy as broccoli, but, right. um, you know, if you make the effort, it is a little better when it's fresh like and this. And there's so many different things. I know you've you've come in before and you've made different things with cauliflower. It, right. It's delicious. It is. It is. It's very underrated. A lot of a lot of veg vegetables that are underrated. Yep. And basically what you do is, is when you're done with it, you put it on your favorite green on the bottom of the plate, just a little bit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I use a little uh, baby arugula. But remember, all this stuff is, is coming out in the farmer's markets now, like the tomatoes. Um, you can get heirloom tomatoes. You can get home, you know, tomatoes from your backyard. Right. Whatever it is that you want to use, you're not. To, you don't have to s stick to the script here. Right. And everything is. Uh, it, when you go there, it's it's fresh. It's delicious. That's what you really want. And then this gentleman here, he's been invited to the party because he's bringing a good wine for summer. To, for summertime, yes, I he love is. It. He will tell us all about that and what's sure. going on on his the big shoe. The big he, shoe. The big shoe that he does too. Uh, we'll also talk about um, John's restaurant as well. Back to you. The guys need a little pat on the back, too, for bringing us a very easy recipe in the kitchen today. That's actually what John just said to me a moment ago. We got an easy one for you. Joe was saying no heavy lifting. I mean, these are simple ingredients, but sometimes that's all you need. You don't need to load it up with every ingredient that you have in your yeah, pantry. Yeah, you need good, good ingredients, mm -hmm. optimum freshness, you know. I mean, a lot of times in the summertime, you want to go to somebody's house, you want to bring something that's impressive. Right. You know, and some, sometimes the simple things made the right way are the most impressive things. Mm -hmm. My wife just brings me, and that's enough. We don't have to bring any wine. That's or true. Well, I was going to say, but you usually I am bring impressive. the wine. Yeah, so. I do. But, yeah, I mean, sometimes nice. you hit a home run, sometimes you don't, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so we got some cauliflower. What I did was I, I, I made that. little... Uh, <laughs> made little florets. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to drizzle that with some extra virgin olive oil. Cauliflower is delicious. And I know Will was saying earlier, I feel like we're just finding it in more and more recipes. Yeah, well, right now, I think, you know, every year something takes off, and mm -hmm. I think the cauliflower is taking off this year. And what's nice about it is, you know, back in the day, au gratin was the only way, and there's yeah, so right. many calories exactly. with that, and now we're realizing that it's delicious in its own right, yeah. and it's summertime, and it's fresh, and you, it's so plentiful. Yeah, and you know, all of these great colors, too, coming together, it's a nice, vibrant dish yeah. as well. And it, 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 the cauliflower has like a little meaty texture to it, so it's really good. So, Joe, you're going to throw that in the oven. Yeah, how long are we going to do this for? We're going to put that in the oven probably 15, 20 minutes mm -hmm. on 425. Okay. Just, you want to get a little bit of color on it and then... Um, Roast it up, crisp it up. Yep, and then we're going to throw together throw together the, uh, the uh, oh, I'm exhausted. basic caprese uh, mm -hmm. method, which is, which is any great tomato that you had at home or, yep. or have access to. And we use little chilagini mozzarella because we're fancy, yeah. and. Uh, but that's cute. You could eat, heck, you could even skewer the, skewer them. Sure, yeah, you yeah. can do that too. We actually do that at the restaurant sometimes. Delicious. Fresh oh. basil, balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, a little yeah. bed of arugula or any of your favorite green spinach, mm -hmm. kale, whatever you want. That's nice. Kind of swap it out. Whatever yeah. you got, whatever your preferences. Okay, we are well on our way. We'll finish this caprese when we come back. We are back in the kitchen with TV major D Joe Zito and Chef John Granada from Johnny Granada's Restaurant and Bar. It's actually a great night to go there because... It is the East Greenwich Music Stroll tonight. So you could stroll. You can stroll and dance. And dance. all the way down Main Street and you can see all the different musicians. And John, you can you're not dancing with us. Oh, yeah. And you can uh, <laughs> stroll. You can. I can't dance and sing at the same time. Yeah, but anyway, it's a great night to go there, mm -hmm. and it's a great night to visit the terraza. Yeah, because we have you know. we have a uh, an awesome um, 
live Italian band in the parking lot right next to the terrazza, uh, Calabria Bella. What's better than that? Yeah, a lot that of fun. sounds awesome. Yeah, summertime. Well, what's better than that is a really great recipe that we are uh, sharing with you today. Yes. It is a roasted cauliflower caprese. We had the cauliflower going in the oven. Uh, we we just put that in there. But let's prep the, the rest of the salad. Okay, so this is, this is how fast this is going to be. Okay. All right, so you got some great tomatoes. I'm using grape tomatoes, mm -hmm. which you can use any tomato that is, is at its optimum freshness from sure. your garden. Uh, heirlooms, Heirloom, they're cherry. all coming out right now. Beautiful. And that's a good, good part because you're using basil and tomatoes, which are so abundant in maybe your own garden at home. Right. So do yourself Absolutely. a favor. Go right. out, pick and you something bring really this, fresh. Right. You bring this to a party on the weekend or something like that. And, uh, People are going to say, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually have a graduation party to go to this weekend, so I've been brainstorming. All right, we'll save this for some you. Some idea. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Here's a three-day-old no container. <laughs> Don't worry. They'll never know. No one's watching this. Tupperware. That's fine. <laughs> Put it in some Tupperware. Yeah, that's great. So, mm -hmm. all right. So the fresh mozzarella goes in. It already pretty. looks pretty, right? Yeah, yeah it really I mean, does. it's such a simple dish, right? So a little extra virgin olive oil. Mm-hmm. Because you want to give it a little something, a little extra yeah. flavor. T touch a balsamic. Yes. I know you got a lot of balsamic here, so just go. Don't go crazy on the mm -hmm. balsamic. And not everyone likes balsamic. I, I, I do. Little, I love vinegar. Sometimes but it's a little overdone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But in in some cases, it's a must. Uh, and buy a good balsamic, by the way. Don't buy a cheap on sale balsamic from your local market. <laughs> Oops, guilty. <laughs> no, I'm saying seriously. You spend the money and you use less of it okay. because it's more flavorful. Here's a good tip for yeah. you. Yeah. And it's got a nice It'll sweetness to it. Okay, so, Joe, you want to talk about the wine, and I'll grab the cauliflower. Absolutely. That sounds good. What Michaela, are we doing with this? summertime. One mm. of my favorite wines in the summer is Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. It's clean, it's crisp, there's a little bit of acidity. When I say that to some of the people at home that may not understand what I mean, sometimes Chardonnay is more full-bodied, it's a little buttery. Mm. This is a little tart. And I it's like beautiful that. in the summer because it's refreshing. This is fruit forward. This is from New Zealand. Yeah. It's called Starborough. You can find it anywhere. It's in the $12 range. <coughs> You'll know it because the starfish on the label. Yes. And it's absolutely delicious. And what I love, too, a lot of wines are doing this, and this says nothing about the price or the quality of the wine. Yeah, the, it's the screw top. So if you are bringing it to a party. Many, many people, believe it or not, the wine purists may disagree, but because of the cork shortage all over the world, mm -hmm. they say that this is the freshest way, too. This wow. doesn't get contaminated. It's mm -hmm. easy to open, and particularly in the summer. You know, you bring these, and there you go. You're drinking wine. You yeah. miss a little of the allure of opening the wine, but I'm going to tell you, many, many, many top vintners are using this now. The allure is drinking it, right? Yeah, really? it's That's really good. fantastic. <laughs> and the allure for me is the brand new edition of Fresh and Local this Sunday morning at 9.30 on mm -hmm. my TV. Hey. Features this guy right here, brand hey. new. Johnny Granato, he's making two fabulous dishes, and Yum. I like people to tune into that and TV make 3D after. They can make a whole morning out of it. And hey, this is so fresh, this, too, huh? and very local. Isn't it beautiful? And after you watch the show, you can come down and have brunch at Johnny Granato's. Now, I don't know if you're still going to be go. able to take this this weekend, but why don't you try this now? Yeah, just, I don't think it's going to last little. that no, no, no. long. It gets a little sum of everything. I so, obviously, in, in, in the, in the uh, sense the of time, you want this to go a little more like, you see how this is nice and browned right here? Mm -hmm. A little golden brown on there. That's what you want it all to look like, a little tender. Mm. It's got a nice texture. It'll, it'll mix in perfect. really well. Yeah, I mean, you, some people like it all day. Okay, let me pour you a glass of wine. You don't have anything else to do. Hey, today. all right. If you want this recipe, it is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Definitely give it a try. Cauliflower is a great addition. Mm -hmm. Head on over to Rocha.com. Mm -hmm.